Hi, welcome to automation testing that in, in this video, we will see how to install Windows SDK in Windows 10 machine. Okay. So what do you mean by Windows SDK and why we need that? Right. So in our previous videos, we already discussed that if you want to identify an element on a desktop application, we need some tools. Inside that we discussed one is inspect.exe file and WinApp driver recorder and Appium desktop. So if you want to get that inspector.exe, so that will be available in the Windows SDK. So because of that, we need to download Windows SDK. So apart from that, it part, particularly for the WinApp driver, we don't need this SDK. Okay. So just we need to get that inspect.exe to identify the elements. Just because of that, we need to download and install Windows SDK in your Windows 10 machine. Okay. So what is Windows SDK first? Okay. So let's go to the Wikipedia of this one, Microsoft Windows SDK. Right. So when you see this first paragraph, just for the knowledge. Okay, so we don't need this actually for the WinApp driver, but just for the knowledge, Microsoft Windows SDK and its predecessors, Platform SDK and .NET Framework SDK are, these are SDK means software development kits from Microsoft that contain documentation, header files, libraries, samples and tools required to develop applications for Microsoft Windows and .NET Framework. Okay, so what is the purpose of this SDK? It will provide some documentation, header file libraries to develop Windows applications. Okay, so because of that, we need Windows SDK. Okay, that's just an information for the Windows SDK. If you still need, oh, at least for till here, we can copy and we'll go here and I'll paste here, okay? So this is just an information from this location, okay, Wikipedia. So, I'll just increase the font to see properly. Right, SDK means Software Development Kit. So before that, where you'll find the inspect.exe, once you installed SDK. So first we'll verify whether the location is available or not. If it is not available, after installing, we'll verify. Go to your C drive, go to your x86. Inside this, you will find Windows Kits. So are you seeing any Windows Kits? So I'm not seeing any Windows Kits, okay? So now we'll install. From where you will install in this one? So you need to go to this Windows SDK, this location. Okay. So location to download Windows SDK. So what is that? This is the location. So once you go there, if you come down, you see that download the installer. Okay. So you have yeah, yes, also, but we need to download the installer. I'll just click on this. So it will ask you to download. What is this? Windows SDK setup.exe. Save this A small file. So it will install within no time. So once you install, go to that particular folder. So this Win SDK setup. You just double click on this. You see that install the Windows Software Development Kit, Windows, this latest version, to this computer. Okay. And you see that estimated disk space is 2.6 GB. See, very heavy software. Okay. It's a very, very heavy software. Actually, we don't need, but I need inspect.exe. So, because of that, I'm installing. Okay. So, make sure that you should have this much space in your machine. So, click on next. So send anonymous usage, it's purely up to you. So I'll just put no. 
and then next and then you need to accept the license agreement you see that select the features you want to install as part of this uh, sdk you will get so many some kind of software the documentation we see right libraries all these things so do we really need all these things right so the moment when you click it will give some information about that particular uh, thing you see that and this is the size also you will get 187.28 mb and what is the purpose of this when you click on this this is 449.3 mb what is the purpose of this so we don't need all these things for our purpose so why to waste the disk space so i'll remove which we do we don't need so this one and this one so application verifier for windows application verifier is a runtime verification tool for unmanaged code something like that so i'm not very sure so we don't need this dotnet framework a windows app certification git windows ip over usb msi tools so i don't need all these things so these are you see that windows sdk 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 something like that we don't we need these kind of things so so as per my knowledge which are not needed i just removed that you see that we are saving 1 gb of data so sorry space so we need 2.8 now it it requires only 1.8 okay so just click on install so it will ask you to you know, click yes so it it will change so it will have do some changes to your system so you need to accept just click yes so it will start installing all the features might take some time so once it is completes then you will find one of the folders in your program files x86 that is called windows kits so once you get the windows kits you need to go inside that and there is a path i'll let you know so you go step by step into the folders there you will find inspect.exe by using that win inspect.exe you can identify the elements you need some properties to identify the elements right how you will find the properties by using this exe file you can find the properties okay so for some time i'll pause this video yeah it's done uh, it took more than 10 minutes for me so once 100% done you can see this welcome to the windows software development kit windows and the version okay so just close this and then go to the location where we are seeing that right so after installing this windows sdk what happens go to this pc and i, I told you that x86 you can find you see that windows kits right so once you go windows open the windows kits you will find the the folder called 10 if you go inside this you will find bin so go inside bin and go to the latest version right is this is the latest version 0.190 so go to the latest and go to the x64 so here you will find the inspect.exe just yeah this is the one just because of this we installed that 1.8 gb of software okay that is almost 1.8 right 1.8 gb of software we installed just to get this one inspect.exe okay so when you double click so this is the inspect.exe for the initial look you can have this one i feel not so user friendly but we do not have other goals we have limited and we need to depends upon this so left side you will find the application in the right side respective properties so that we will see in the next videos but just an idea the reason uh, behind why we installed windows sdk in this playlist right as part of this video series okay so just get this inspect.exe to identify the application elements okay i'm just closing this so once you download successfully you will find the windows is uh, windows kits folder okay so that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel 
for further and interesting updates.